All right, so Vanivar Labs, we're a defense company. We build both software and hardware for defense missions. A couple examples of what that actually looks like. Um, first, first problem we work on is, is Russia invaded Ukraine in 2022. This is actually a screenshot from one of our products. Um, the, there have been more than 200,000 people that have been killed in that war. This is what a week of that war looks like. The pink diamonds you're seeing here are actually positions of Russian troops. The red circles are instances of military activity. It could be an airstrike or, or a bombing, these sorts of things. Um, I can't get too much into the details of like what we're doing here, but it's for this product, it's about kind of collecting um, geolocated data that helps uh, people understand what the core of the what's going on um, in reality. Second type of problem that we work on is related to Asia, uh, specifically China. Uh, the reason we work on this is uh, in any given year, China flies more than 200 uh, air, like military aircraft into Taiwan's airspace, oftentimes including nuclear capable bombers. That's kind of scary as like a sovereign nation. Imagine somebody do, doing that to the US. There's many reasons why that occurs. One of them is uh, to uh, desensitize the Taiwanese government to that activity so that if China decides to invade, there's a little bit of a delay. Is this just kind of normal PLA activity or is this an invasion? Um, we built, this is a, also a screenshot of a piece of data from one of our products. Uh, we build tools to try to identify this kind of behavior. It's not happening just in this case. There's other instances of it and give the US government options to respond. Um, we're a multi-product company. Uh, most of our products are software. We have one hardware product, that's Miguel. He's an engineer actually deploying this on an island in Asia with some of our DoD partners. Um, the common theme that we have between our products is usually there's some unique data collection piece. We're getting access to something that's hard to get access to. And then there's usually some unique uh, data analysis piece. So if it's audio, video, imagery, that leans more machine learning. If it's like uh, the hardware product is an RF sensing product that, that leads more to signals processing problems. From a <clears throat> business standpoint, uh, we, uh, yeah, we went from about 3 million in revenue in 2021 to, or we think we're gonna end around 85 million in revenue this year. Uh, we've got more than 40 deployments across different parts of the government um, and we're profitable. We actually were one of the earliest uh, defense companies of the of like recent age to become profitable. We, it took us three years. It took Palantir about 20. Um, for sure. um, for a, on the engineering side, <clears throat> I think there's a few things that make working at Vanivar unique. The most important one is just the mission problems we work on are, are you know, like they're, they're national security in nature. Um, the, but the other piece of this is <clears throat> the people that you work with oftentimes are pretty awesome. This is Aubrey, she's uh, on our team. Um, she is one of the first women on, in a particular part of the Navy SEAL teams. And she's the kind of person that you, you get to work with when you're building products. It's not just working on these problems, but you also get to do it alongside people that are pretty, that make me really excited to go to work. The other engineering uh, piece for us is because we're multi-products, we operate in kind of um, like a large set of small teams. So if you're working on a new product, that might be two to eight engineers, which means every person on that team has a pretty outsized impact, despite it being you know like a 150 person company. And the other thing that's been really important for us is uh, we filter out people with high ego. Seems obvious, uh, but like we, we take that really seriously, both in terms of who we hire and then how we make decisions to let people go. That's been really important for us as we scale culturally. The engineering leadership is pretty great. There's a lot of defense expertise, um, but there's also some startup and functional expertise that that um, uh, that you know you can like ask me about later if useful. The types of roles that we're hiring for on the engineering side are pretty varied. It goes from really niche, you know, cyber reverse engineering work to, to more like, you know, web application development, full stack software engineering, and a lot of things in between. We also, we're remote by default. You can work anywhere. We do have offices in New York, uh, DC, and Denver. Um, and then email me if you, if you want to talk 